Hey everyone, welcome to week number two of the Devoted Cowgirl vlog edition. You'll have to forgive me this week. I had everything all edited and put together and went to save the video and I didn't have enough room. And then I did the dumb thing and I went and deleted some of the videos that, the short videos that were part of the long finished one. Therefore, this is my second time recording all of this. Boo. There's not going to be as much cool footage, but it is what it is. This is what you're going to get this week. Um, you're going to get to go a little bit more behind the scenes uh, with life, not just the barrel race. Um, I took out the jet skis with my best friend. I worked a little bit on my trailer and I went to a barrel race on Sunday with the girls down in Dallas. So without further ado, here's this week. Jump. Hi. Good morning. Hi, baby. Hi, Queen. Oh, you're still happy? Hi, baby. Come on, your belly. Good morning. Why are you so worried? freaking cute was Blitzen being all snuggly. She followed me around the entire time I was cleaning her turnout and like was all up in my business. It was kind of funny. Kind of annoying because it's hard to clean turnouts when there's a horse standing between you and the wheelbarrow. But anyways, um, next up, I took the jet skis out when it was super hot with my best friend. We got to cool off in the river. We got to have a blast generally act a fool and catch up. Um, it was so much fun. Here's some footage from that one.
also this weekend, I have been working on converting my four and a half foot short wall dressing room into a weekender package with um, a spot for a 12 volt cooler. I've got an extra bed, a closet, some other stuff I've added. It's all insulated. It was completely bare bones when I got it last May. This I started working on it this spring with some help from my dad and some help from my husband. Um, mostly I've done it myself, but it's been super f fun designing that, watching it all to come together. And this weekend I got to complete and install my favorite part about the whole thing. I made a wood quilt for the nose of the trailer so it kind of acts as my headboard and it turned out exactly like I wanted it to look and it looks super good so here's some footage a little bit of footage of me working on that and a kind of walkthrough video of where we're at now with the trailer. Last, but definitely not least, I loaded up the girls. We went down to my hometown of Dallas, Oregon, not Dallas, Texas. And um, I grew up there. I lived there until I was like 22 years old. And it was so much fun going back to race down there. Uh, the woods put on a great race. Their facility is awesome. I made the decision uh, after making four out of five clean runs on Stella at the brand finals a couple weekends ago to roll my time, there was an AM and a PM race, so I rolled my times on both girls from the AM to the PM. It turned out really well, I'm super proud of them. Here's Stella's run. Okay, so she did amazing. That was like our second fastest time on a standard pattern. We were fourth out on the ground. It was a little bit wet, so it was a little bit sticky and the ground just got faster as the day went on. However, we led the race the entire time. I won my first barrel race, you guys. Stella won a barrel race. I'm so excited. Uh, it was man it's been such a long journey to get to this point where I'm running my horses like they're open horses and I'm running my 1d caliber barrel horses like they're open horses and it has been a process getting my confidence up in my horses and it was super cool to feel that all come to fruition this weekend I had kind of started to feel that building confidence after making eight runs in three days at the brand finals and I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity to just keep adding to it which is why I entered the race from wow why I entered the race anyways was to just keep building on that confidence that was starting to gather at the brand finals and boy did we capitalize on that Stella won the barrel race and since we rolled our time to the second race we won the second race too. Also, I don't want to leave out Blitzen. She did amazing. Here's her run. did fantastic. We were so close to getting into the 17s. So close. We ran a few really low 18s. She was an 18.06, I think. 
ended up third in the race, in both races. So I took first and I took third. Blitzen is right there knocking on the doors of making 17 second runs on a standard. And I'm so excited to see how we do just continuing to build on these good runs that I've been making. My horses are working really well. I'm riding really well. And it's just been super fun to have everything finally come together. And I know in the world of barrel racing, it's a roller coaster and it might not stay together forever, but I'm going to keep trying to enter as much as I can and really capitalize on the feeling that I've got making these runs where I'm confident in my horses and I'm able to just jockey them up into their corners. All right, if you have made it this far, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, as all the famous YouTubers say, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ding that notification bell. I really appreciate you guys watching. I have so far enjoyed sharing my life with you guys.